guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, we're gonna about to go outside and do some work on the bike. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, you saw my setup, previous setup, where the um, I had switches all over the bike for different things, the lights, the horn, everything else. Uh, I ended up picking up a three button switch that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mount. Well, I'm gonna have to re-engineer it to get it to work on the bike because it's for a motorcycle, but it'll fit on the bars. And then I can eliminate all the buttons free up my bars, and just run a wiring harness to the bike. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get out there, I wanted to bring up the batteries. These things are amazing. Um, I know we discussed the problem with using a cheap BMS, and um, it'd be a problem with balancing the cells. I'm having no problems. If anything, I'm finding it's getting better. Uh, every ride, I'm getting more and more capacity out of them. Um, I, I, it's, they far conce uh, exceeded what I thought I was going to get out of them. Uh, I thought for sure that uh, I was going to get a, uh, a low amp hour battery that uh, wouldn't make it around the block because I got two motors flying around. But uh, it works pretty good. It, I can push it, I can have some fun with it, and then it's still, I still get home on one charge. It doesn't leave me walking, which it did the first couple of times because it was balancing the cells. So these cheap BMS's work pretty good the e fix man uh, they're doing a good job of balancing the cells so I'm very happy with that I haven't had to open them up and hand balance them even once uh, the only time I noticed there was some heat that could actually kill these is uh, I had the controller originally on my bike that had the uh, low voltage cutoff removed remember I did a mod with the resistor and one of these packs cut out. Now what happens is the the controller still wanted to draw uh, voltage and amps through the the one that was shut off, and that's what will kill it. If uh, if you have a setup where you can still draw uh, volts, if it doesn't shut off when one of these go, then it will kill it because this was like super super hot because it was drawing volts through it. Obviously, and the vest can't handle that. Uh, either than that, they're fine. I'm not going to have any issues with it whatsoever. The packing is good. Everything is good. I haven't had any issues with potholes and these hooks snapping off. They're, they're perfect. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about with these is um, when you step off the bike, you have to make sure you're at a stop. And if you do, sort of put your leg out a little bit because uh, where these are located or right where your feet come down, and you're, it will drag your feet underneath, and it hurts like a son of a bitch. So that's one thing you have to get used to with these packs. But other than that, they're they're perfectly um, they're a perfect spot on the bike. I love it. These these hooks don't come loose. They hold it nice and steady. It doesn't make a lot of noise when you're hitting bumps and everything else. It's just the bike's just runs like a limo. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and I need to rewire the bike. Obviously, I'm not gonna do much talking in it. Um, I just basically wear you on my chest. And go through the motion of fixing the bike up. I'll take you along with me. Be something to do. I don't normally talk outside because I got neighbors that are nosy and they tend to chime in when I'm talking to interrupt me. So let's go to it.
Bueno.